Hi everybody, this is Bob and welcome to Honorable Mentions of 2019. It's that time of the year when we actually go through the best albums of the year list, best songs of the year list. It's that time when we just look back to 2019 and we just point out the best music that we heard throughout this year. And um, you know, this list I came up with, Honorable Mentions, they didn't make it to best albums of the year, but there are still cool projects that I want to talk about but before we do that there were some albums this year from really big artists and you know i didn't like them all and i just want to mention some of them i didn't like but other people really liked and enjoyed i just want to address why i didn't like them or think that it's worth adding them to honorable mentions or best albums of the year so let's start with lana del rey and lana del rey Norman Effing Rockwell, everybody seems to like this album. Everybody seems to enjoy it. I never loved Lana Del Rey's albums. To be honest, I like her in small do doses. I love some of her songs, but as an entire album, I just, I get bored listening to it, to be honest. That's just me though. Again, if you love Lana Del Rey, go ahead and listen to her. She's amazing. Uh, she's an amazing person and she's really cute and she has a great voice and she has a unique style definitely it's just not for everyone and apparently not for me you know what i'm saying uh some of the songs again i still, I still like and even from this album uh, doing time is amazing uh norman f rockwell was a good start to the album there are a couple of songs here and there that are actually really good uh for me but as entire in its entirety i just get bored with this album as well and uh, i just couldn't listen to it entirely like I, I couldn't finish the album to be honest then we go to uh, Post Malone Post Malone how Hollywood is bleeding I um, like this album actually I do like this album not worth putting to honorable mentions list for me but that's a progress I can actually say that I like Post Malone's album I was not able to say that with his first two albums I I don't know what what is this but I just do have some problems with Post Malone when it comes to his artistic choices. Uh, the production is, uh, again, he is one of the biggest artists in the world right now. But I just not, I'm not one of the, not one of his fans. Again, maybe it's just not for me. Uh, but I came to appreciate his music more and more. And uh, I like more and more songs now. In this album, actually, I love the majority of the songs. Uh, not love them, but I, I like I like it. I liked it. I, when I was listening to it, I was impressed. I was like, oh, okay, actually, I'm liking this. So that's really good. <laughs> you know, saying that's progress. And I hope that in the future I will be I will become a personal fan. Hopefully. Then we have Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, uh, lover improvement from taylor from rep reputation that's all i had to say that's a uh, good improvement i like it uh next we go to jonas brothers and bts um i liked the, both of these albums actually but i didn't think it was uh, worth putting into my honorable smash list because i i didn't have it didn't have much repeat value for me these two albums i just never came back to them although i i praise them in my reaction videos um yeah okay now the list itself ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> honorable mentions number 17 perfect 10 by mustard good likable songs i like the production um if you like hip-hop rap uh, nice beats nice spanish type of beats as well there are some of the songs that you really like that involves uh, guitar in it and there's also a typical Migos song if you like Migos like me you will like it pure water and um, yeah you know there are artists that I like that are on here I just I just had fun listening to this album then we have number 16 Oasis by Bad Bunny and J Balvin I really love the fact that <coughs> they decided to collaborate on this album because they are geniuses you know what I'm saying like they are really biggest artists on lat Latino scene and they are geniuses because that was a great idea to make a collab because two of the biggest artists they are gonna get some cloud collaborating and they literally um, 
this songs, this eight songs they made, every single one of them got really a lot of plays, a lot of streams, and everybody was listening to them. Uh, you know, from uh, Latino scene, um, you know, South America, S Spain, and countries like that. Uh, really, we were listening to J Balvin a lot with Bad Bunny. Uh, so, and there are likable songs, I, I like them too. Now we have uh, Wasteland Baby by Hozier. Uh, interesting sound, interesting album, really, really cool. I, <laughs> I actually don't have much anything to say, but definitely check it out. It's really good experience. It's not something you usually hear in pop today, but definitely worth your attention uh, if you like the song take me to, to church for example you know that's that artist who's here you want to check this album out album 14 we have uh, kisses by anita um Gram grammy nominated latino grammy nominated project and uh, there are good songs over here number 13 hot pink by doja cat i like this album a lot when i listen to it on camera but then I never really came back to it and that's the only problem you know a lot of people are liking this album I've been hearing some buzz on the internet over this project and rightfully so this is a good album it was not a priority for me to listen to this album that much it for some reason never came back to it and that's the only reason why it didn't end up on best albums of the year you know the, the best albums for me are those I I came back multiple times and listened to them and enjoyed them. So um, th th some of the projects are on honorable mentions, even though the music, the quality are really good. I just never didn't listen to them that much. So much fun by Young Thug on number 12. Young Thug, I mean, he has his own unique voice and uh, finally he has come through with a good album actually it was not so much fun but it was a good fun for me so um yeah cool album album 11 hi this is flume by flume great artistic choice futuristic in a sense the beats are really cool and experimental album 10 is he real by idk religion is involved heavily and believes in god we're being questioned about god about religion how is it right? Is it right all the time? And should we obey the religion all the time? Those are good questions and they're being addressed on on the album Is He Real? And a living listener with an open-minded question pretty much, but uh, I would say definitely give, give it a try if you are interested in those kind of topics because IDK is really involved on that one um he really goes in lyrically and uh, mentions really interesting things that you want to check it out late night feelings by mark ronson is on number nine uh, unfortunately it didn't come up with a good album but the reason it's on this list is because there are still great singles from this album i really was anticipating this project when, when i heard four songs out of this uh, project literally my favorite song of 2018 uh, nothing breaks like a heart with Miley Cyrus is on this project and the song with Camila Cabello with Licky Lee they were cool they were really nice so I expected something great but then when the album came out it wasn't that good so uh, but I, again still worth putting it here because Mark Ronson gave me gave me a lot of good uh, moments this year with music number eight Soul Searching by Bazzy. Yeah, I mean this album is good. <laughs> only, only thing is again, I didn't listen to it that much. That's the only problem. But literally, ba Bazzy did a really good job. I can't complain about the project. Honestly, this is a really good project. Diaspora by Goldlink. This is like a world pr uh, album, world sound. You know, some of the songs like Zulu Screams are really dope and um, some of the hip hop songs are really awesome. Uh, Golding does a good job. Golding, I like Golding a lot. And Diaspora is that world record, uh, sort of global, global record, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool, it's pretty nice. Lost Boy by YBN Corday. Yeah, <laughs> this is that album. This is a actually a really good album, a debut album 
from YBN Corday. He's coming from J. Cole's label and uh, he's like a mini J. Cole <laughs> as of now, but um, definitely has his own voice, his own delivery. But if you like J. Cole's music, you, I think you, you will definitely enjoy this album as well because it's kind of similar, uh, but again, YBN Corday is still has distinguishable characteristics to himself love plus fear by marina i enjoyed this album a lot of good songs kind of sad at times but also hopeful and um, lovely love pretty lovely album four kirk by the baby i want to apologize to the baby the baby is a good rapper i in my Grammy video, why uh, bash him for no reason? I said that he is an industry plant. I said that everybody is is pushing him, or like telling everybody, the public that oh, the baby has is is having an amazing year. Like look at this, like he is breaking all the records, blah blah blah. His album is really you know good and everybody is enjoying it. like a lot of publications were, were coming with those statements and um i guess uh, for a reason right but at that time you know listening to the baby i was like really like the baby's not that good but as i came back to this album uh, i actually <laughs> started to enjoy it a lot more because uh, i when i was doing that grammy video I liked, I, I actually loved the shit out of the song Bob by The Baby. So I was thinking, maybe I should give this guy another chance. Maybe I should check out another song as well, and I would like it. And the, the Grammy nominated song Shook, at that time I didn't like it. Now I do, I do love it actually. I do like it. It's, it's just pretty fun to listen to, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Shook and Bob, I just recommend these songs. They're really good. They just <laughs> bumps you up, you know what I'm saying? Like pumps you up to the, uh, for a day, gets you going. And the baby is really entertaining as well. I really like him. Uh, album three, we have Arizona Baby by Kevin Abstract. Kevin Abstract from Rockhampton delivered some good pop, good R&B songs, chill, nice, uh, good songs. Collaborations number six, album by Ed Sheeran. I actually liked this album when it came out. I don't want to hate on it like other people because there is no reason to, for me at least. I, I loved uh, this album. Uh, the only problem is I, I got bored of it pretty quick, I got tired of it pretty quick, and I stopped listening to it pretty quick. <laughs> so that's the only issue. Otherwise I would have put it on the best albums of the year if I sticked around to this album more, but I have But the, the songs were pretty good actually, I like them. And number one, we have Charlie by Charlie XCX. Uh, Charlie came out with futuristic, like pop from 2000, <laughs> from the year 2000. It's really good. It's again, it's groundbreaking in my opinion. Uh, actually, not in my opinion, <laughs> in a lot of in internet's opinion and uh, in people's opinion, like they vo they voice how this album is so amazing and like futuristic and things like that i wasn't so hyped about it but i decided to put it in number as number one because charlie xcx deserves it charlie xcx have been working um, a lot and for a long time she has been in the music industry since 2008 i uh, like her I, i've been liking her since 2013 i just think she is a great voice in pop and underrated and I just want to give some shine to her even though I didn't really enjoy this project because I feel like it's too much to it to be honest like Cheryl XCX uh, from those like poppy days like Boom Clap and Fancy and I love it I don't care you know those kind of songs which I really love um, but since then she evolved her sound and like five years later like it formed this album which is completely different like like the sounds uh, and i have problems with sophie and like pc camp not not problems necessarily like i'm, I'm not saying they're bad or anything like that i just it's not really my thing 
uh, I just don't really love that sound. So Charlie evolved to that type of music and I just don't really enjoy it that much. That's why I just, uh, I, I, was in I was not in love with this album, even though I really want it to be because I, I adore Charlie XCX. Charlie XCX is my babe. And on that note, um, I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching and a lot of other videos are coming soon. Happy holidays. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.